you very much. First, I'd just uh, say a big thank you for being invited here to talk about uh, transanal total mesorectal excision. It's a real privilege, and I hope that I can add something to the, the debate. Um, so I'm going to talk about the present situation for transanal total mesorectal excision and where I think we are in the development of this technique. Uh, really, have we reached the tipping point? My declarations, I'm a course director for applied medical, training in TAMIS uh, courses, and I'm a consultant for applied medical for their product development. I'm a colorectal surgeon, and I teach leadership. Uh, I train trainers. I've been a TEM surgeon for more than 15 years, and I've been a TAMIS surgeon now for three years. I think by the end of this year, we will have had 228 surgeons come through the training course that we run for the basic TAMIS technique. And so we're really starting to, to educate a number, of, a number of surgeons. The question is, why is this important for me? And I think the answer is that it's a new technique which I think has real advantage for our patients, and particularly in dealing with uh, male patients, overweight, a large prostate gland, in whom the cancer is low in the pelvis. And for these patients, it's always been very difficult to complete the procedure and to re the bowel. And so I think this technique has real meaning for a lot of our patients. The adoption of the technique, however, it will follow the, the normal uh, path of adoption of any new technique. So it's an important innovation in rectal cancer but the dynamics of it, the risks, and the benefits of the innovation are already understood in other fields. So the question is, where are we now? So this diagram shows the diffusion of an innovation. The curves show what normally happens through anything that's, uh, that's novel to a practice. And this would go for computer science or, or mathematics. And in this environment, we're talking about surgery. Where are we on the curve? Well, we're right at the very beginning of this curve. Two years into TATME, we're still innovators. We haven't even reached the point of early adoption, and we're a long way from gaining the, the support and confidence of the surgical community in general to get to the tipping point of where this goes from a novel technique